name is Bench, and welcome back to another Logic tutorial here in StarMaid. Uh, some guys in the chat have been saying, uh, yeah, doing all this crazy Logic stuff's great, but what's the actual practicality for it for someone who's actually doing uh, just a simple ship? What can we use? Uh, so we're going to do some practical uh, uses for Logic circuits in your ships. Um, so the first thing that we'll do is, uh, and we'll try to keep it nice and simple as well, uh, the first thing we'll do is a nice, simple hanger. Um, and this is one that I've recently just done on one of my ships, which is pretty exciting. So if we just mark out where our hanger here is, what we'll do is we're going to build ourselves a automated hanger door so that when we come in and dock and land, it, uh, it lets us know that we've landed and also closes the door behind us. So it's nice and simple, and uh, logic block wise, it only will use two logic blocks, so it's uh, not too crazy. We can do some pretty cool stuff with it. So what we'll do is we'll just use the green line here, just to kind of work out where the middle will be, and then we'll drop our docking module here. All right, so we got docking module, bam, done. Uh, now, what we can do is we can grab an activation module and put it underneath. And then hit C on the activation module, and then grab a not signal, and put it next to it, and hit V on that, so the activation module's hooked up to the not. Uh, and now we can go ahead and fill in the top of our um, hanger. So what I like doing is I like using the uh, red and the green to kind of indicate where I'm at with things. So if I just do a run of red here, and then a run of green here. Maybe on the other side, I'll do the same thing. Run of red here. How high do we go? A run of green. Now this is all decorative. You can do it ex uh, however you'd like to do it. Um, we'll fill in this section here. Like so. And so what we're just doing is we're setting it up so that we know when the door's unlocked and when we're ready to go. And uh, there's also another neat feature which I saw um, Yelby actually do. Um, as a added feature for the smaller ships that you actually dock in here, um, that actually benefits from this sort of a two-coloured thing that we're doing. So we'll do that and do that like so. And uh, if we want, we can add another activation module there. We don't have to. It doesn't necessarily need it, but, you know, it's sometimes nice to have it. Um, the option to toggle between the two as well. So we can grab the activation module, uh, chuck it there, hit C, and hit V on the one underneath the docking module. There we go. So now we'll just grab ourselves some Plex door. And we can close it like that, open it wide so we can fit it in. And I've gone and thrown it out the side. Exactly what I've done. Perfect. All right, now, here we go. Damn it, I've done it again. There we go. Here you can see it's uh, it's not the uh, not planned out all that well. Please don't tell me I did it again. No, we're fine. All right, and what we might do is we'll, we can chuck one up here, so we'll do red and green, and red and green. Sweet. Now what you want to do is go under to this activation module, hit C on it, and for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to select everything that is green. So we're just going to go up to every single light that we've got and hit V on it, and it's going to put the little purple box around it, and we'll be all fine and dandy there. So V, 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 like so. And on the other side, like so. And we'll do the front as well, there, and at the bottom. I've got an extra piece there, I don't need it. Um, and we'll put one here. All right, we sh should take that off, so we can put a red one on the other side. Cool. So that's that one, and then what we can do is grab the knot and hit C on it, and then we'll go and we'll select all the red ones. So we've got uh, alternating here. And so this will let us be able to alternate between the colors. 
like that, like that, like that, that there, and that there, and that there, and that there, and then the side here, spoil, all that, and the red there. And the last thing that we'll do is we'll go back to the activation block, because I forgot to, oh no, we've got these ones in the front as well. Um, yep, so they're all done. Uh, he's go back to the activation block as well. And just select the door. So we'll go across. Select, 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 select. And then this should mean that when the light, green lights are on, the door's closed. And when the door's open, the red lights go on and all the green lights go off. Like so. And we are done. Yes. All right, so now we can go, and what I'll do is usually is just toggle it like that. We should see. All right, all the red lights are off. Oh, sorry, all the red lights are on, all the green lights are off. The whole thing's open, uh, which is what we want. Um, we can also fill in the roof here. Like so. So it's mostly just the aesthetics that we've done. Uh, we've only used three logic blocks because we added the extra switch, um, which is good just to have a switch where you enter, just in case you want to be able to toggle it open for someone who's coming in. Um, so if you've got a mate coming over with his ship and he wants to come in and yours is all factioned, you can do that. And you can have a public thing on the block as well, um, which is sweet. All right, so we've done that. We've got our hangar all nicely set up. Um, we've kind of got this crazy open space, but let's forget about that. Uh, the next thing we can do, actually, let's just fill that in. Boom, 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 boom. We get it. You'd have a door or something. Like so, and of course, I get crazy blocks. That didn't go through, did it? Okay, we're fine. All right, so now we can create our little ship. And what we can do with this ship is grab a cockpit and stick a cockpit just facing down like that directly under our core. So we can see when we're floating right above where we're going to go and then we can make this look a little bit more like a ship. Um, we're going to need some power and thrusters on this thing, which is fine. Thruster and the power so that we can at least demonstrate this a bit better all right there we go we got that we got let's face the thrusters back it's always a good idea oh no because that's the front of course it is and i don't have any mirroring on either so things obviously look weird whatever i'll make it like that and that and that. Sweet. There we go. We got our zippy little ship. Uh, it might be a bit too quick. Drop it down to a couple of thrusters and chuck some mass on there. Just for this demonstration. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. All right. So here we are. We're approaching and we can see the doors open. Sweet. Uh, so we want to land on that docking module. Um, so what we can do is we can fly in and then we can toggle and we can actually see straight down and make sure that we're lining up and when we click like here's where we want to dock you'll see it snaps in place and everything goes green so if I jump out you can see the doors closed and everything's green so we've landed and we don't need to close the door um, you could have an area trigger on the ground if you wanted to get a bit more advanced but I mean this is only using three logic blocks and you're getting a really cool function. So again, what you can do is then undock and everything goes red and you know that you're ready to undock so you can change and zoom out. And the cool thing is that you can kind of fly in, get ready to park, click and dock and then you can just tap up and there you go, you're in your main ship. So if you have a little scout ship, you don't even need to jump out. Uh, similarly, you go down again and you're into your 
little ship you can undock and actually go and fly your way out like so and you can even just zap the front um, at the moment we can't zap a docking uh, as a activation module with the docking thing that will be added in a future release but on the whole this works well you can see that all right this one's ready for me to arrive uh, it's got the orange no one's in there at the moment so the, it's a good indicator as well to see when there's a, uh, a docking place that's open and zap and done and we've we've landed and there we go so there's a nice simple little thing that you, it doesn't use too many complicated logic circuits uh, it only uses the uh, activation module underneath the docking module and then a not gate but you get some really cool functionality out of it it's really quite practical all right until next time my name is bench and thanks for watching